Stories are a premium transportation vehicle for information, insights and ideas when we interact with our buyers. The most basic number can have a powerful significance when popped into a story rich with context and background perspective. We can create emotional connection with buyers through stories in a way that raw data never can. Yet how often do we have this buyer persuader in its holster, never being drawn to weave its powerful magic? Find out why that is a big mistake. Welcome back to this weekly edition every Monday of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, president of Dale Kenny Train Japan and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery and my new bestseller, Japan Business Mastery. We are bringing the show to you from our high performance center in Akasaka, in Minato-ku, the business center of Tokyo. Why the cutting edge? In this show, we are looking at the critical areas for success in business in Japan. We want to help advance everyone's thinking so that we can be at the forefront, at the cutting edge on how to flourish here in this market. Before we get into this week's topic, here is what caught my attention lately. Shipping cold in Newcastle has become an English language standard metaphor, but what about Japan shipping curry to India? Ichibanya, which operates Koko Ichibanya Curry Shops, is joining with Mitsui & Co. to open their first branch in India, with a plan to open 30 stores over the next 10 years. Mitsui has a 60% stake in the joint venture. Ichibanya already has 180 restaurants in 12 countries. Japanese food is also becoming more popular in India. Makoto Morikawa runs three udon shops in New Delhi and plans to open 30 more branches in the next several years. Yoshinoya, famous for its gyudon beef bowl dishes, opened its first store in India in Gunungam, focusing on chicken in deference to the Hindu majority who consider cows to be sacred. In other news, more than a third of female workers certified as having mental health issues cited some in form of harassment as the main cause, according to a government survey. Some 36.3% said they suffered from sexual harassment, assault, bullying and abuse of power at work by superiors. The survey also found about 23.1% male workers with mental health issues cited a change in their job role or workload as the main cause. Another 15.9% attributed the problem to assault, bullying and abuse of power. The number of instances of mental health illnesses was highest amongst office workers, then salespeople, then drivers. Finally. Toyota is planning to supply 100 hydrogen fuel cell buses to shuttle visitors between venues during the Olympics. For the Beijing Winter Olympics in 2022, Toyota is partnering with Beechi uh, Forton Motor Company to supply 1,000 such buses. Toyota's Masaki Ito, general manager of their Olympics and Para Olympic division, said hydrogen still has this image of being dangerous that it might explode. And our aim with the Olympics is to erase this image. Three years ago, Japan declared that by 2020, it wanted 40,000 fuel cell vehicles on the road and 160 fueling stations. Today, only 3,400 vehicles have been sold and only 109 hydrogen stations have been built. This is episode number 107, and we are talking about the power of using stories when selling. Sorry, dewa, ikimashou. So let's get going. 
Storytelling in sales is our ability to express ourselves in a way which is engaging and persuasive. We capture the attention of the buyer because we have taken the client to a world unexpected. This might be because the real essence of their problem has just now been revealed to them. The salesperson who can marshal the discussion to bring forth the hidden insights for the client is a storyteller par excellence. The content of the story can also be a description of a better place than where the clients find themselves today. This discussion shows the path forward for the client to realize their goals. To understand that better place requires the salesperson to set up a dialogue where the questions asked unveil a story from the client of what success would look like. Employing examples, cases and proof where this solution has worked before must be brought to life if the storytelling is to have impact. The ability to describe this better place in vivid word pictures is what separates the average salesperson from the master. The delivery of this storytelling facility is not just some incessant babbling by the salesperson that is punctuated by periods of silence. The client is given the chance to talk without having their sentences finished for them, interrupted by a segue, observation, joke or distraction. Other, so or often salespeople, are loquacious, ill-disciplined speakers who are in love with the beauty of what they are saying. Counterintuitively, being a skilled storyteller also requires that the salesperson's patience to encourage their client to tell their own story. The words chosen by the salesperson are important. The majority of the conversation with the client should consist of the client talking. The 80-20 rule applies here. The client should do the 80% of the talking and the salesperson 20%. Looked at in this way, the actual quota of words allowed for the master salesperson are very limited. They only use clear, concise constructs because they know they need to give up the floor to the client as much as possible. Short sentences of inquiry which draw out rich information are the golden path to sales success. Sounds like a snap, doesn't it? But to do this well takes a lot of practice. When the client hesitates, asks more inside information or outright rejects what they're being told, then the salesperson's level of communication skill really becomes apparent. Plumbing the balance between speaking to add light and employing silence to gauge reaction is a critical facility. What happens when we get objections? Find out more when we come back from the break. If you want to sell more and do it more easily, do the Winning with Relationship Selling course. If you can't build trust, no sale. Can't design excellent questions to understand the client's needs, no sale. Can't present the solution convincingly, no sale. Can't handle objections properly, no sale. Can't close, no sale. Master the sales process by doing the Winning with Relationship Selling course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. There's a natural tendency when salespeople hit resistance to want to pour it on, to really step it up a gear, to overwhelm the client and their objection with a barrage of data, facts, proof, testimonials and statistics. They want to dominate the discussion through sheer force of personality. This is never going to fly. 
A person convinced against their will is of the same opinion still. He's an old saw. We salespeople forget our peril. Our way of telling the story makes a huge difference. We need to be matching our communication approach with the personality style of the person we are talking to. Their energy level, pacing, openness, conservatism, the degree of detail they require, all of this must go into the mix of telling the story for the client. If they are very detail oriented, good with three decimal places, then we need to get with the program. If they are action oriented, quick moving, we must become the same. We all like to do business with people we like and we like people who are on our wavelength. Great. But in sales, we need to foster the ability to be on as many wavelengths as possible. Our clients will be of various styles, so we need to effortlessly move between each of these without losing our core beliefs in what we are doing. We are not developing split personalities here, just greater flexibility in how we communicate with buyers. The telling of stories draws out the situation truths needed to understand the connect and best solution for the client. It also means the capacity to package our solution up in such a way that it's highly appealing to our buyer. The storytelling skill separates the professional from the dilettante. By the way, nobody wants to buy from an amateur, so let's become more professional and tell our story well for the client so they will buy from us and keep buying from us forever. We're not after one sale, we're after a relationship where the client trusts us and wants to keep dealing with us. Our communication skills are going to be something that plays a big part in how well we get with, on with the client and telling stories is one key element of how we can help the client see the value we bring and the solution is a, really the best one for what they need. The Cutting Edge Japan business shows to help you succeed in Japan. Subscribe on YouTube, share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Come a regular. Thank you for watching this episode. And remember to hit the subscribe button. Our website details are on screen now. enjapan.dalecutting.com It's awesome value, so check it out. Please leave me some feedback on YouTube. I would love to know how this show helped and what other topics you are interested in for me to cover. Remember, I'm here as a free resource to help you. So just tell me how I can help you best. You might also enjoy my other weekly shows for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show podcast, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, wherever you get your podcast. Also on Fridays, I release my other TV show, the Japan Business Mastery Show on YouTube. In episode number 108, we are talking about Japanese leadership legend, Mr. Atarashi's breakthrough. Find out more about that next week. So, Yoroshiku, Onagai Tashimasu. Please join me for the next episode of the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. We are here to help you. And we've only got one idea, one direction in mind for you and your business, and that is up.